Hey guys, Will Grayson Hobby here. I got a lot of questions about the Falcon 250 and how to get it out of the box and going flying. Uh, it's just a little quick video, or quick run through of getting it going. Um, so you got the box here, open it up. This is a Ready to Fly Falcon 250. You'll notice we do have little warning stickers that we put on the battery in the, the box so you don't power it up without the antenna. This is the most critical thing right here. Never, ever, ever power this thing up without the uh, antenna installed. It will burn out the video transmitter. Take the foam out. We've got the transmitter here. Let's get everything out of the box real quick. We've got that. We've got the battery strap. The antenna. Battery and charger, we'll leave those in there. I have some already out. And then props. Okay, so let's get this out of the way here. Got the transmitter. Pretty quick and easy. Double A batteries. You'll need four of those. That's not included. Let's just four double A batteries. Put in here. You got the quad. This, that. Now there's the antenna. I'm gonna use an Amway antenna here. This is a little higher performance antenna. I like I like using these on all my quads. Uh, the factory one's okay, but this is a little easier for me to install for the video. So, RPSMA antenna, screw it on, here, so that's on. Now sometimes you'll get the antennas kind of sticking out like that. You do not want these into the prop, so either you can zip tie them up to the frame. A lot of guys zip tie them up. You'll see little pictures and videos that they zip tie them up. Or, in this case, for now, we're just going to get it going quick, so I'm just going to tuck this in here. Not, not the optimum positioning of the antennas, but it'll get the job done. Um, got your props here. Quads. Um, battery strap. Battery strap will run through here. Again, we're just going to do a quick little video, so I'm just going to run it underneath. Um, got a Wild Scorpion battery here. The factory battery is 1500 as well. This is a higher performing 1500. So you that. So, you'll notice you got silver and black uh, prop nuts. Uh, the silver is regular threads the black are reverse threaded so when you go to unscrew them you actually uh, turn it to the right to unscrew it uh, a lot of guys get the mistake that they're thinking they're all the same they're actually reverse threaded on the black so we're going to take the prop nuts off here so if you find resistance go, the other, go the other way yeah they're not they're self-tightening as you fly they're supposed to hold it tighter and they're not lock tight yeah they're not locked tight or glued down in any way they're just screwed on um so we got props here. This is just a set of red. It does come with black and red. So what we got here, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but you got five by 4.5 right there. And then you have five by 4.5 R. You see there? Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. Yep. So you're gonna have two and two of those, okay? So the props are gonna go on and they're, the motors actually turn inwards towards the center. So your 5x4.5 is going to go in your front right with your silver nut, and also your back left looking over top on the other silver nut. So these are your 5x4.5s, your, your 5x4.5R, which is reverse, um, they're going to go with the black nuts, okay? If you put these props on the wrong order or upside down, either it's going to try to pull to the ground or it'll just flip over on takeoff. So if you're getting random flip overs, check and make sure you put the props on the right way. Just make sure they're snug. So that's there. So that's everything there. The transmitter, um, I'm actually going to go over a little quick one here on the transmitter. When you first turn it on, it's going to yell at you saying, warning, you know, make sure your throttle's down and make sure all your switches are in the up position, okay? Now, uh, I believe out of the box you'll have VRB will be your leveling mode to the left and then all the way to the right, if you turn the dial, will make it in acro mode, which is no leveling, it's for more advanced flying. Start out with leveling mode. One thing I like here is the little LiPo alarms. Um, not included. Not included here, these only a couple bucks, battery saver, it'll really, save your batteries in the future. Um, your balance plug could be dancing around if you don't secure it in some way, and then guess what, the prop can eat it off, there goes your battery. Um, this little guy right here kind of doubles to hold the battery, plug it in, and you can preset the voltage to what it goes at. Um, I think this one's at 3.5 or so right now. So what and that's doing, that's gonna go off as an alarm when you're yeah. flying it, and you'll hear it when it's time to, time to land. Yes, correct. So you can actually just kind of strap it down with the battery, no, that could be used on cars, airplanes, everything. Cars, planes, boats, whatever that has a light bulb. But it saves your quad and your mostly your battery. This little switch right here is for the lights on the bottom on or off. 
So it's not the power switch. It is not a power switch. It is only for the Maybe external it's... lights. All right, not a power switch. That's external lights. Yeah. Plug it in here. Make sure it stays level on a level surface. Don't touch it for a minute. Let it. You'll see it's flashing. It's going to take a second to level. Now it's saying it's ready to go. Uh, let's let's go outside. All right. Okay, we're back. All right, guys. Now we got the quad outside. Keep in mind the batteries do not come charged. You will need to charge the battery prior to flying. Um, this battery is already charged, so we're just going to take it up. Quick little video, what to expect. So we got everything here. Dial to the left. We are in leveling mode. So I'm going to arm it by holding it about three seconds to the left. Um, throttle up. That's up. Now that noise you're hearing, that's from unbalanced props. So this is, and also the landing gear is taking a little bit. Yeah, we need to upgrade those props. Yeah. Different props, and I would take those landing gear off, and we'll go over that in just a second. Let me bring it down. And holding to the left, disarm. So you can literally get these things, other than charging the battery, in less than 10 minutes you'll have this thing flying. It is truly a ready to fly setup in my opinion.